you don't even need this second table to solve this question but then you might think why is this second table given then hey guys welcome back to our channel on this channel we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the sql 50 crack sql interview and 50 question series where we're trying to learn hands-on sql using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of sql so we are already done with the select part as well as basic joins as well as basic aggregate functions we are currently working on sorting and grouping then we'll be leading to advanced select and joins subqueries and finally ending with advanced string functions regex and clauses in our previous video we saw this question called user activity for past 30 days part one where we learned how to subtract the number of days from a column that is of data type date this video we are going to solve this question called product sales analysis part three and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 25th question of the series product sales analysis part three and if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so amazon kind of an important question let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called sales with five different columns sale id product id year quantity and price and all of them have a data type integer the combined column sale id and year is the primary key that is combination of columns with unique values of this table product id is a foreign key that is a reference column to the product table each row of this table shows a sale on the product product id in a certain year note that the price is per unit we are also given a second table called product with two different columns product id and product name product id is the primary key that is column with unique value of this table and each row of this table indicates the product name of each product we are asked to write a solution to find the product id year quantity and price for the first year of every product sold order of the result does not matter let's look at this example and see what do we need in our output so we are given sales table and we have certain products their year quantity and price and also the product table and in our output for the every product in their first year what is the product id their first year quantity and price if we look at product id 100 the first year it was sold is 2008 the quantity sold was 10 and the price was 5000 for product id 200 only one row so first year sold is 2011 quantity 15 price 9000 and that is what we have in our output if you think about it you don't even need this second table to solve this question you can solve the entire question just by using this table but then you might think why is this second table given then because just remember this is a part three so there are another parts of this question where the second table might be useful that is why the second table is given okay so people who are following this series thoroughly this question is exactly based on the same logic as video number 21 and 22 so let's switch to excel and try to develop a logic for this so this is the same table sales and first step of this logic should be to find for every product id what is their first year of sale so product first year right first year of sale and then after you have that second step should be to keep only those rows where your year is equal to first year right and once we have this then our step three should be to get required columns so this is the logic that we need to follow okay now this can be done in multiple ways in video number 21 i showed you the beginner intermediate as well as advanced level solution okay so step one is products first year of sale so every product how you can you get the first year of sale so from this table called sales if i group by the product id product id return the product id and get the minimum of the year that is going to be the first year that product was sold so we can alias this as first year let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so obviously not yet complete but for every product we have their first year when they were sold now what we can do is we can treat this as one table let's call this table t so this is called table t and now what we can do is we should add the first year of sales so here let's add a column called first year and for every product we need to add the first year this particular product was sold so we can have a table called t let me get that here so this is the table t that we just saw and then if we join these two tables on product id we can get the first year of every product so if i do okay so we are treating this as a table and then if i do from this table called sales let's alias this as s left to join this table this entire thing tab as table t on s dot 
product id is equal to t dot product id and if i keep all the columns from the sales table so select s dot star all the columns from sales table and let me just keep the first year from the table that we created okay let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at our output uh let me drag it above and to the left easier for us to view so this is what we have so sale id product id year quantity and price and for every product what was their first year they were sold so here same thing like how the join is happening so product id 100 goes into t and tries to find okay 100 first year is 2008 so it will populate 2008 similarly again next row 100 finds 2008 okay then 200 finds here okay product id 200 the first year is 2011 okay so once we have this then our step one is complete then our step two is to only keep those rows where year is equal to first year so this is one of the rows that where year is equal to first year right so let me just highlight this so that we are we know that okay this is one of them that we need to have here your year is not equal to first year. So we are ignoring this row and here your year is equal to first year. So again, this one is also required. Okay, so these are the two rows and this is the step two. So let's perform this. How can we do this? Using the where clause. So if I go ahead and do where, where, where is this year column coming from? From sales. So S dot year is equal to first year is coming from the table called T. So T dot first year let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at it we would be left with only those two rows yes now these two rows are there and from these two rows we only need certain columns in our output uh, product id first year quantity and price so product id is coming from the sales table so it should be s dot product id then uh, we need first year coming from table t then quantity and price both belong to say table s so quantity and s dot price okay let me drag it to the left and let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so this is how our complete solution looks like and this is accepted as well our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to the passes all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it and we can also do this apply the same logic using a where clause but we do not have to perform all this so what we can do is instead of doing and making another table what we can do is from this table called sales we are only going to keep those rows where the combination of product id and the year combination of product id and year so combination of product id and year is in for every product id what is their first year of sale so if i go ahead and write where combination of product id and year is in and then what do we need to do is from this table called sales if i from this table called sales or uh, let me just okay from this table called sales if i group by the product id and then for every product id so select product id and the minimum of year is equal to your first year then so basically what we are doing is from this table called sales the table called sales if i just drag it to the left uh, okay so this is your sales table i am doing is the combination of product id and year is should be the for combination of product id and their first year of sale so if i go ahead and keep only so if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output this is a runtime error why because we are using aliases which are which we are not using so s dot product id is good but t dot first year does not make any sense because there is no t here so what we can do is we can just go ahead and remove all these aliases it does not matter to us now because we are not performing a join so if i go ahead and run this so if i look at it our output product id year quantity and price still says wrong answer why because we need to alias this as whatever is required in our output so this should be first year so if i go ahead and write as first 
year and then let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get here so now this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so you see this is accepted as well so there are these are the two ways you can do you can also do this using a ranking function so what you can do is for every product id you can have a column called rank and this would be assigned rank one this would be assigned rank two because this was sold earlier and then this was sold and then for product id 200 this will be assigned rank one then you can perform the same thing so we found the product that was first year of sale by using rank then wherever your rank is equal to one it basically is your year is equal to first year and then you can get the required column let me know how the solution will look like in that case so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video